everybody, it's Thomas here from thomasfitzgeraldphotography.com and uh, today I have a quick Lightroom tip for you. This is basically helping you solve a little problem that I'm sure you may have come across at some point. Basically what happens is sometimes when you're working in Lightroom and you have your image already and you think it looks great and then you go to export it to the web, put it up on your website and when you view it, it looks dark. There's a couple of reasons for this. Um, first of all, when you're working in Lightroom, you're working on a different color profile, but also because Lightroom's interface is quite dark, it's actually an optical illusion. So when you're seeing it, uh, your image against the dark background of Lightroom, it can look actually kind of, it can make the image look brighter than it is. So when you go then put it up to your website and it's on a nice, white background the image can actually look a bit uh, darker than it than it may have appeared in Lightroom now there's actually a quick way to check this in Lightroom and so uh, let me dive right in and show you what I mean okay so I'm in Lightroom here now and I have just this image which I was been working on now just for the sake of this demonstration I've deliberately made this darker than it is so if you look at it here right now uh, depending on how you're viewing this um, if it's in YouTube and there's lots of white around it, it may actually look a little darker. But here in Lightroom at the moment, it, this actually looks fine. But I know if I go to export this and put it up on my website, which has a white background, it's going to look a bit darker than it is. So there's a way we can simulate this in Lightroom and it'll actually make your life a lot easier. This problem kind of crops up a lot too, especially if you're working with black and white images and it's kind of a it is kind of an area where it's touch and go as to whether it's looking too bright or too dark. Okay, so first kind of clue is if you look up here in the histogram, you can see there's this whole area here, the whites, and where the peak is, which would be the sky. You can see it's quite low down, so there's, there's quite a, an area here. That's kind of your first clue that this is a bit too dark. But to, in order to see it, what you can do is you can use Lightroom soft proofing. So First one to do is zoom back out a bit so that we have some area around the image. So I'm going to zoom to 1 to 4. Um, I have had this set up already, but if you don't, you can just use this little pop-up here and you can get it. Okay, so I've zoomed back out now so we can see this is black around it. So if I turn on soft proofing or use the S key on the keyboard, this will give me a white image around it. And as you can see, straight away it looks darker. Um, again, you might not be able to notice this as much on YouTube but if you try it yourself with your own images you'll see what I'm talking about okay so what we can do is we can now adjust this image either here or toggle S again to get back out of it now if you're adjusting the image while in the soft proof mode let me just show you what happens so I'm going to drag up the exposure okay that's a bit too much okay and you'll see this comes up so this gives you the option of either creating a copy so that we don't undo your previous edits or you can if you're happy enough to go ahead with this you can choose make this a proof so that will be any edits we make here in the proof mode will be applied to the image so I'm going to do this because I don't mind I've already made a copy so I'm going to make this a proof so now any edits we make here will be kept in that copy so I'm just going to meet the shadows down a bit again I'm just doing this roughly just to give you an idea so you can see what you can do and again this is by no means perfect it's just a quick example okay so then we can turn soft proof back off that's still a little dark on the bright side for my liking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the highlights up a bit I'm going to bring the whites up a bit we don't have to go too bright either Again, I'm looking at my histogram and kind of using that as a judge as well. So again, if you turn that off. Oh, I'll just bring up the contrast. Okay, so you can see against the white background now that looks much better than it did a minute ago. And just kind of to give you an idea of what it did look like. I'm going back down to my history and I think it was somewhere around here. So again, you can see that's what it was before and now after I fixed it. Okay, so that's just a quick demo of how you can use soft proofing to uh, check your images before you put them up on your website. And um, people think soft proofing is generally just for printing, but no, you can actually use it for previewing what your shots are gonna look like on the web as well. 
um, it's quite handy for this. I, I've been bitten by this a couple of times where I've exported an image and it looks fine in Lightroom and you put it up on the website with the white background around it and it's too dark. So that's just one thing to be thinking about and it's a, it's a quick way that you can check it by using soft proofing. So uh, I hope this has been useful and uh, stay tuned for some more videos soon. Thank you.